In terms of the first part of the question about buying the securities we buy, plenty of people do that, and uh, 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 some of them, but they, they incidentally, they're not buying it with free float that's available from insurance. So, so if, if they have $58 billion that they can get interest-free, uh, they will be in the same position we are in buying those securities. But they are, on the other hand, they have some tax advantages we don't have. So uh, I don't quarrel with people to do that. Uh, uh, we have to publicize to some extent uh, what we own. Some things they wouldn't be able to buy because we make direct purchases. They wouldn't be able to buy into the businesses we own. But uh, they might very well do better uh, piggybacking us in some way, and, and they're certainly free to do it. Charlie? Yeah, generally, I think it's quite smart to do what you're talking about, is to identify some investors you regard as very skilled and, and carefully examine everything they're buying and copy what you please. I think you have a very good idea. Yeah, I used... When I was 21 years old, I, would, I, would, I had to mail away to the SEC in those days. You got these crummy copies of about a week later and paid a lot per page to get them. But I used to get the uh, semi-annual reports of Graham Newman Corp before I went to work there. And I would look at every security that was listed there. And, uh, and I, got, I got some of my ideas that way. So it's, uh, there's nothing wrong with that.